What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Namaste, namaskaram, Ram Ram G. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to react to Hinduism and modern science. This video is by Carolina Goswami. Check it out. The link is down below. Check out her channel if you don't know her by now. Uh, she is obviously uh, a daughter of India uh, from Britain. Anyway, let's check it out. These are mind-blowing similarities, you know, between Hinduism and modern science. So let's check it out, and uh, you tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let's go. Quite often we hear about India's ancient wisdom and its greatness, but in these modern times, many think that India's ancient wisdom has no relevance or practical usage. But if we start to look deeper and allow ourselves to have a broader perspective, it starts to appear that India's ancient wisdom may hold the answers to our most frustrating problems. But how can we, as a global community, benefit from India's intellectual knowledge systems? Well, India's ancient wisdom can definitely help us in bringing the much-needed stability for our planet. I will classify that broadly into two types, environmental stability and emotional stability. Right. If we continue to promote right. the high ecological footprint generating lifestyle of an average American or Scandinavian, we need many Earths. It's time to wake up, we can't afford that anymore. Unfortunately, the Western growth model, work, earn, spend, is being blindly adopted in many developing nations, including India. This is taking us towards over-exploitation of resources, pollution, global warming, and greed-driven consumerism. The answer to that problem can be found in India's traditional concept of Aparigraha. Aparigraha can also help in fighting hunger and managing food wastage. In addition, the traditional Indian joint family system can lead to more environmental-friendly practice of shared usage of resources. Agreed. In a way, aren't we already suggesting that when we promote the so-called New Age idea of sharing economy? In addition, sustainable ideas like reuse, recycle, repair pre-exist in traditional Indian system and need to be revived. For those who are willing to switch to a low-carbon footprint lifestyle by using plant-based diet, India's vast variety of plant-based cuisine can be very beneficial. Now I will talk about emotional stability. She's good, man. From an extremely non-pluralistic idea of the religious conquest of the entire world to wars and broken families, an emotionally unstable mind can only offer unrest at its best. A nation whose people have a better emotional stability are less likely to suffer from anger, greed, jealousy, and all form of crime and abuse. True. And this can also lead to stability in families, harmony between communities, resulting in the overall improved productivity and efficiency of a nation. Wow. Elements from India's intangible cultural heritage can offer lots of solutions to those who are struggling with mental illness. She is really the relation good at of this, yoga man. and meditation with mental health and increased productivity is well known. In addition, Indian Dharmic knowledge traditions like yoga and Ayurveda are also known for reducing healthcare costs, a rising problem in the Western nations. The American psychologist Lisa Miller has recognized the significance of spirituality in her work. She has also explored the scientific link between spirituality and health. She observes. Children with a positive and an active relationship to spirituality are 40% less likely to use and abuse substances, 60% less likely to be depressed as teenagers, and 80% less likely to have dangerous or unprotected sex. For the help of cutting-edge research, she has explained the importance of spirituality in a child's mental and physical health and what parents can do to shape modern youth. The 2016 Yoga in America study, which was conducted by Yoga Journal and Yoga Alliance, found that yoga practitioners are more likely to have a good sense of balance and are keener to give back to community. They also become highly concerned about their health and the community's health. The study also found that half of practitioners live green and eat sustainably. There is absolutely no doubt that India is the epicenter of our planet's spirituality. Perhaps there is no civilization in the world which has focused so much on inner exploration. India's Dharmic traditions encourage people to focus on conquering their own agree. mind and reject the idea of conquering the world. In Dharmic traditions, the ultimate goal is to conquer oneself. On the other hand, there are many ideologies that have had their entire mm -hmm. focus on conquering the world. 
Any religious or non-religious ideology which believes in global conquest mm -hmm. can never be truly people and pluralism friendly. The idea of global conquest is against the principles on which institutions like wow. the United Nations is built upon. In a modern, progressive and diverse global society, the ideas of conquering the globe should have no place. It should not matter what religions you follow or what non-religious ideas you have. What matters more is if your idea or your religion is making you a better person. Shouldn't we stop running behind a temporary relief and instead look for a permanent cure that lies within? In Indian parlance, self-questioning and inner exploration is highly encouraged. That is why self-admiration and self-criticism is excessively seen in the Indian society. This not only helps to find the solutions for the problems that lie within and without, but also it helps to ignite independent and unopinionated thinking with a deep sense of individual inner contentment. Based on the core philosophy of India's spiritual heritage, if we can encourage more She's people amazing. to focus on inward domain, we should be able to reduce all sorts of crimes and wrongdoings globally. We also need to understand that us and me are not two different things. They are correlated. A healthy society can be formed only if there are healthy individuals. Each individual must be healed and protected. When it comes to stability in the family structure, there is a lot that we can learn from India. At a micro level, we need to look at a typical family structure which consists of loved ones. After studying India's core structure for many years, I can finally say that the emotional, spiritual and physical nourishment that an individual can receive within one's family is probably the most efficient and economical way of healing a society. And if these things are not taken care of, there can be emotional and financial consequences. A survey by India's NFHS has revealed that the teenagers Definitely. who get out of homes at a very young age are more likely to develop habits like consuming alcohol or consuming tobacco. In the USA, a study by Columbia University indicated that having a family dinner together helps the kids in staying away from substance abuse. Substance abuse is directly related to additional economic burden, crime, troubled relationships and loss of productivity. No society can afford that. India has arrived on the center stage as one of the largest growth engines in the None. world and it is all set to play a key role in shaping the future of our planet. But it does remain to be seen if Indians are able to be rational and analytical in their approach without disrespecting the valuable elements in their own heritage, traditional knowledge systems and cultures. It also remains to be seen if they can take lessons and inspirations from their history and use that wisdom in building their future while learning and adopting the best global practices. And yes, we, the global community, shouldn't hesitate to learn the best that India and its ancient wisdom offer. Hi, I'm Karolina Goswami. In a way, the episode that you have just watched is the essence of my five years of hard work on the subjects related to India and Indians. My researches and investigations to understand India's complex layers will not end here. I am going to continue my work. In this mission, you can participate too. Please come forward and support my work financially. See you again. Guys, if you can support her work financially, uh, the details are on the screen. That would be really good, you know, just to help move and push all this into the future. Because I really love this. The way that she does her things is... It's amazing. You can see that she has love for India. It's not about content. No, it's about um, literally showing the world, how, you know, what India really is about. Um, and, you know, just trying to show the, the world that India is so much more than um, Hinduism, uh, you, you know, just what we see on the, you know, Bollywood, what we see on the television, um, you know, Everything, you know, these stereotypes that people have about India, India is so much more. And um, right here, we're talking about Hinduism in, in modern science. You know, the similarities talked more about spirituality, how India, you know, the teachings that India has, how they can help. Because a lot of things, they can be, you know, centered 
on something and that can be important in moving forward you know you need to have a clean mind to be able to work you know to have high production uh, and, and 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 you know work as a team in you know in units on let me say you know having this the one having one direction in one um, go in mind setting all that align it starts with you know having a peace of mind and being peaceful with the people that are around you and all these so the teachings that are in Hinduism mostly she was talking about the, the teachings that are in Hinduism that help that can help the world if the world help if the whole world adapt those teachings those teachings can help the world move in the right direction and I understand this I believe and I agree with this I've been uh, reacting to a lot of Indian uh, you know Hinduism videos and I gotta say man these videos have been helping me very much and um, even so far I'm still with the you know Bhagavad Gita because you have to move with it slowly bit by bit in order to understand and um, I agree this is really immense uh, knowledge and um, information that needs to go out there people need to get it anyway tell me what you think guys in the comments section down below I really appreciate your love and uh, your support I'll see you next time take care peace